Hey, hey Benny. How's it going? Good, good. Great uh, show. Thank you. Um, so Ooh. much energy here. <laughs> it is. Yeah. A lot of announcements within like 58 minutes of uh, yes. um, keynote, right? Highlights according to you? I mean, your side? there's so many announcements across VMware, but um, specifically for modern apps and management, that's Tanzu and Aria um, portfolios that the products I look after. Um, really big announcements on the Tanzu side. Um, specifically, we're expanding Tanzu application platform um, to include both the developer experience as well as Kubernetes operations. But really exciting new capability is the application engine. You know, there's yeah. always in this problem of developers build apps and they want to deploy, but then there's this friction between dev and ops because there's all these operational runtime concerns that need to be done before you can deploy the application to an environment. What we're doing with the app engine is it brings those together, keeps the concerns separate, but allows that to be kind of baked into um, the runtime. So it is fundamentally a new application runtime. It's a, it's a logical space that can be created to span across clusters and zones and clouds. Nice. As part of that space, you can um, say that these types of packages need to be installed that are specific to that application type, as well as these types of configurations or requirements like must be HA, availability, um, you know, NTLS, security. And those are all then, um, when the developer deploys that, those are automatically configured by the space, and then it's always reconciled to that desired state. Oh, that's cool. It's yeah. more like Kubernetes kind of design. Kubernetes, like, it, it takes you to the desired yeah. state on the on the infrastructure side, but here it's like At bits, the application, application level. And then bringing that together to have that, um, to have that abstraction run across multiple uh, cluster environments. Nice. So we have this great demo um, that was featured in our keynote. So that's been, that's a really exciting thing. Um, and then also our intelligence services. So we, um, uh, there is like Cloud Health, uh, Insights, Guardrails, um, uh, and Transformer. We've, we've kind of advanced all of that portfolio and we're really focusing on how do we help customers accelerate the delivery of applications. It means how they build them, how they deploy them, run them, and then fine tune them throughout the life that, they, um, that they're all, uh, up and running. Yeah, I think that it's great actually. I always said that proximity to developers for certain vendors, it's like a little bit like they're far from developers, but you guys are coming closer and closer to the developers. And uh, I think it's a, it's a welcoming sort of uh, move. How you folks plan to improve it going forward? Like without giving me the roadmap, yeah. you know, items like the supply chain of software, you know, pack, packages, the, the security of open source. Are there any plans to plug those APIs in so that when, when any part of the open source comes in, it gets updated in these images, if you will, in all these clusters, um, there, are some check, there are some checks and balances for the security side, for yeah. example. Great question and uh, insight. And uh, we're actually already investing in some of those areas. Mm -hmm. And you'll see further integrations um, kind of on the roadmap to make it a seamless experience for both developers and operators. But we have something called Application Catalog. Um, so we have, uh, it's, you know, many of many uh, folks out there for, are familiar with the Bitnami application oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. catalog. Oh, of course, yeah. You guys bought that. Like, yeah, so we acquired Bitnami, um, but then we from there we also created the VMware application catalog, which is taking all those awesome upstream great um, open source projects that we have um, that are hosted out of Bitnami, but then as customers purchase the enterprise catalog, we then package that to their enterprise golden image, right? Oh, cool. yeah. And then, we're, then what we do is we maintain that life cycle. When there's a new, when the uh, open source component is updated, we then yeah. repackage it. It then shows up in their enterprise catalog. Only then. Then yeah. they can pull that so that that's available to their application teams to use. So that's that's step one. Uh -huh. So we're um, that's uh, that's how you how you're bringing the software components into your environment, into your organization, and then. On the supply chain side, um, in the application uh, platform, the Tanzu application platform, um, secure supply chains is something that's fundamental to the platform itself. Yeah. Um, you know, like automated build, integrated scanning, S bombs, and then security dashboards are totally a part of the uh, platform, and we're only going to make that uh, more robust over time. So, what's great is 
you know, every time a uh, code is ready to be deployed and the, the developer says workload applied, which is like a single command deploy function, it always goes through the supply chain. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so that's part of making it uh, to be deployed on the cluster. Um, and so then uh, an operator can go look and look at the dashboard and see like, if you have a, if you have a vulnerability, you'll know like all of the software, all the workloads that are running that package. So nice. You have a nice forensics there. Yeah, one, like I always say this, that when you want to study any sort of bigger systems like or industry, you have to look at the stakeholders, all yep. stakeholders, right? Any plan to include the partners in this, like to improve it, like yep. especially ISVs uh, or like community involvement, mm -hmm. you know, shed some light on that. Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. So, so yeah. from uh, um, all the things I described to you, um, I, you know, it's part of the platform, but um, our platform, well, architecturally, it's modular. Yeah, yeah. So like the supply chain, we ship with the scanner out of the box, we ship with some default integrations um, to like sneak, mm -hmm. but uh, it actually is open. So anybody, any um, scanning system can plug into it. Okay. Because, right. you know, customers, we know that it's a big ecosystem. They may have started with a few different solutions. Um, you know, it's not a, you know, you have to use the whole thing. Um, we integrate with like various CICD vendors. Um, you know, we support a number of IDEs. Um, so from a technology partner perspective, there is a lot of work that we do with cloud providers and um, uh, individual tool providers. And then um, we have a, we work a lot with the, um, uh, more of the services type partner companies because this can be a transformation for some organizations. True, true, so yeah. helping them stand up the platform and adopt uh, different practices to, to uh, embrace uh, this type of model. Well, that's awesome. So I, I, I'm glad to see the, the Tanzu and Aria merged. Last year, my complaint was there's too many SKUs, some, <laughs> a lot of overlap, right? So yeah. that's great, uh, I think, step. But how, how about uh, the economics of the system, like uh, can you shed some lining on pricing and or how people consume it, is there any premium model for people to get in, and, and what kind of customers you're targeting as well? Yeah, so um, a lot of the customers that we work with um, here at VMware, uh, especially at Tonsu, are larger enterprises. Um, what we have found is uh, the pains around some of the standardization at the platform level really is when they have multiple application teams, you know, and different types of applications, lots of developers. They're really looking to help scale some of the, the manageability and control, make sure they can gain that security. So a lot of our work is with those organizations. There's a complexity problem that they need help solving. <laughs> you know, there's some going clapping on. going on here. <laughs> Somebody we're, we're, won a prize. We're sitting at an expo over here. We're sitting in a corner of this VMware. I will show you the Beetle. Uh, here and uh, there's a demo of that uh, police truck or SUV, if you will. Yeah, and that's part of our edge, what we're doing edge, on the edge. Yeah, there. software defined edge. Um, so, last uh, question How open is the system? Like, it, it, how can people extend it? Uh, you yep. know, so, like, is there any open source involvement here? Yeah, so um, as you know, Tanzu um, and VMware is very active within open source. We uh, contribute to existing projects. We've also built and open sourced many projects ourselves. Um, and the platform is fundamentally built with a lot of those capabilities, but then we do the you know, the full, the life cycle management of those components. Um, we do a lot of integrations and then we also build, you know, um, value add functionality as part of that integration. Um, from how open it is, the modularity, yeah, you know, we want to leave so. open interfaces so that they can plug into anything, take data from anywhere, and then do the analysis and uh, insights. And last but not least, um, Something that we didn't get to spend a lot of time on in the keynote is Backstage. Back, we're using the Backstage as um, in our platform as the developer portal. And with this release, we are supporting not only the um, our enterprise distribution of Backstage but um, and the plugins that we've provided, but the customer can plug in any of the, their homegrown plugins as well as taking the ecosystem of Backstage open source plugins, like the ones from Spotify as well, and put them as part of their Tanzu developer portal. That's so it's cool. really like 
how can they customize and extend the environment to their business needs? I think modularity makes it more yeah. open, right? And 100%. design, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Betty, for spending a few minutes with me from your busy schedule here. Uh, we Absolutely. are at the VMware Explore 2023. Any last words uh, uh, to the listeners, like how they can get their hands on it or how they can get yeah. involved? Yeah, just uh, come visit tanzu.vmware.com. And for those of you watching, um, we'll be making our rounds, um, explore Singapore right. and explore Barcelona. So we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. It's always so good to see you, Matt. Yes. Thanks. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, it was good.